Okay, YouTubers. The pile on the left is basically a paper mache mulch that was basically too dry, and the one on the right is basically made to be uh, pretty much the way the consistency that I like to see it. These will burn, but uh, what happens with these, if they're too dry, they just are softer and they're not uh, formable as much because they're not wet enough. So you see that the, the stringy bits are still all on here. I don't know if you can see this, but you see the mulch, they don't stick together because it's not wet enough. Okay, so you can't do it right away unless you soak it for a bit. And then you have to mix them up, because I didn't mix this up either with my with my mixer, which I'll show you later on in this video. Alright, so that's basically the difference. If they're too wet, you see, after they come out of the mold, I squish them down a little bit more with my hands to form it. But they, they harden up. I mean, this is like rock hard. I don't know. I'll show you in a video, I'm going to cut one in half with the saw, and you can see what's inside. It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's compacted, so it, it, they burn nicely. So anyway, that's the, uh, those are the good ones, and those are the not so good ones, but they'll still work, okay? Okay, what we got here is the ones that I like, which are these ones that came up very nicely. And this one, which was too dry, I think, and I'm going to show you this. I'm going to cut it with the chop saw. They're dried out already. They've been sitting on top of the wood stove for about a day. I'm just going to show you how this works really quickly. Mm. So I put this in here. And we'll do this one. Okay. Now, the consistency of these is totally different. <clears throat> now, in a fire, you'll see that both of these will burn. Now, but with this, you see the insides are very compact. And they're, they're dry inside now because they've been sitting there for a day or so on top of the wood stove. But you can see the difference here between the consistency inside this one. It was not wet enough or shredded enough. So when I use the blender, which I'll show you how to do in a second, you get the difference in why you need to have it wet, and then it will compact easier in the press. So you see, newspaper shredding is all we're really doing here. And you can see the kids just help out by putting the papers in the shredder. And then what we're doing here is we're ending up with a uh, bucket full of mulch. So you see here, they, I'm calling it mulch, but it's really just paper, shredded paper, and it's in a big garbage can. So I'll show you what I do next after you get it into this state. See, so it's just really just this paper, shredded paper stuff. It's pretty simple. Any shredder will do it. Okay? Big bucket. So what we're going to do is maybe dump about half of this in here into a mixing bucket. is bring this into the bathroom which I'm lucky enough to have a bathroom off my garage and I just come over here and I turn this on I use an old this was from an old vacuum cleaner which I still have I don't think it goes to any of the vacuums we have now and then I just wait till this is hot you can see I got this twisty thing on the sink so all I do basically Put that on there, and then I can put the hot water into the, the mulch for the paper shredding. So you see I can just keep dumping the water in there until I get a pretty good consistency. You just can keep sitting there and twisting it. That, I mean, if you do this with a hose, if you do it with anything else, you just happen to have the setup I've got, so that's what I'm using. So anyway, just keep doing this until you get pretty, pretty good mulch. You can see it's getting wetter and wetter and wetter. Now, all right, when I turn that off, then you just sit here and check to make sure it gets, it gets wet enough. Alright, you see that consistency? Alright, now, what I'm going to do is bring this out back into the garage. And all I did was weld the 
it together, I got a piece of metal about this size, a little less width of a pencil. And I welded it, I cut it in a little bit, about six inches or so, maybe seven, and just welded it on the end. Now, you put it in the drill, just whip it around in there. Make sure it's tight. Enough. See the consistency of this. All right, it's wet, it's goopy, it's moldable, so you can form it into whatever you want. Okay, so that's key to to getting a good briquette, I think. So now, once you get it all in there, then you can start making briquettes. Okay, <laughs> here's the mold from yesterday. So I still have, no, I gotta still put another piston in there. But you've already seen me use the, the press, okay? So that's how you make the mush, all right? That's how you get it. So I'm gonna make some mush now. See ya.